Praise the Lord. Today we are going to read Amos chapter 9. Amos chapter 9, we are going to read verses 11 and 12. Amos chapter 9, 11 and 12. On that day, I will raise up the tabernacle of David, which has fallen down, and repair its damages. I will raise up its ruins and rebuild it as in the days of old, that they may possess the remnant of Edom. And all the Gentiles who are called by my name, says the Lord, who does this thing. There are some things that God will do, and all of what you can say is, well, he has done it. The impossible. It's on that day, and this is that day for you. On that day that I decide to act, I am going to reverse things, turn things around. Not just turn the captivity. When he says, I'm going to raise up the tabernacles of David, which were destroyed. What aspects of life have been destroyed? Your health, your wealth, your material things, your immaterial things, the things that are intangible, the things that you cannot hold, or the things that can only be provided by God. Children, for instance, joy, peace, a steady frame of mind that brings relaxation to you, peace in the midst of every kind of confusion. Those are things that you cannot manufacture by yourself. You can have all the money in this world, but peace, you can buy. Health. You can go to hospitals and spend so much money if God is not making you well. You are not well. Thank God that we have experienced the thing that is called Corona. And the coronavirus has come in. And you find that even the wealthiest, they are the ones that die easier from Corona. That goes to prove something. If God is not giving you, you are not getting it. It's not on account of how wealthy you are. What we are talking about, God doing the impossible, is not about what man could purchase or what man could not purchase. How would the Israelis who were captives come back and rebuild the tabernacles of David, which were blown down? How could captives come back to the land and reestablish themselves except by God? You know, when it was God's day, God tuned up the heart of both Darius and Cyrus, and they made sure Jerusalem was rebuilt. Now, the Israelis or the Jews, whatever name you want to call them, either way, they were under bondage to these kings. But the kings on their own woke up and said, go back home, rebuild your place, start your country. That only God can bring about. And I am speaking to somebody today, you are going to start afresh. What has been broken down is going to be rebuilt. What has been lost is going to be reversed. God is bringing back that which is not supposed to be. And it's making it happen in a fantastic way. That God is reaching you today. There's a new thing that is going to happen in your life. And that new thing is a restoration of what you thought was lost. Some of us, it has been generations and generations since the best things in your family had come forth. Some of us even hear of the history of the past. Some of us don't even know there was such a history. But I want to tell you that this is that day that God is going to bring back things. Unto us who are supposed to have been Gentiles, but have been engrafted into the commonwealth of Israel. God is doing a new thing. And he has done a fantastic thing. You can only say thank you. You have done wonderfully well. You know the choruses we sing, they all talk about the wonderful works of God. The things you cannot duplicate. The things you cannot replicate. The things you can get from no other source except God. Is it your life that had been ruined? God is bringing it back. The opportunities of life that you lost. He said, all of the years you lost, I am going to restore to you double. Today is that day. And for that, for somebody today, it is happening as I am speaking. May the Lord open your eyes to see what is going on. He said, behold, I do a new thing for you. Can't you perceive it? May the Lord grant you the grace to perceive what he is doing. That you can stand steady and receive of his fullness. Thank you, Father, for you doing this thing today. Thank you for mouths will be closed in astonishment. Thank you for the hand of the wicked has been reversed. The ability of the wicked had been turned around into disability. And your children have walked away free in joy and celebration. In Jesus' name, amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with you now and forevermore. Amen.